From live on-air drama to unforgettable wardrobe malfunctions, News Wardrobe Bloopers unveils the hilarious moments that left journalists red-faced and viewers in shock. In a wacky twist on 2ABC News, the dynamic duo was deep in weather forecast discussions when the lady host faced a pressing dilemma from Mother Nature. Swiftly slipping backstage, she thought her bathroom break was discreet. Little did she know our genius cameraman seized the moment, capturing her escapades from an unconventional angle. Even our beloved Angie Harmon isn't immune to fashion foibles. During her chat about the Fox & Friends season preview, her shirt decided to play peekaboo, perhaps due to some mysterious cosmic pull or rebellious buttons. But fear not, Angie's style skills saved the day, as she swiftly rebuttoned and brushed off the mishap like a true pro. Came undone as we were talking about it. Well, hello. <laughs> and I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Fox, the ultimate source of entertainment and news, delivered a hilarious surprise recently. Julie Banderas, the news anchor, was so at ease in front of the camera that she unknowingly gave viewers a glimpse of her cleavage. Oops. But fear not, she quickly caught the wardrobe malfunction and fixed her posture like a pro. I'm Schiff to resign his leadership post, so it's a brand new hour. I'm Bill Hemmer, live here in New York. Sam has got the day off. How you doing over there, Julie? I'm doing, I'm uh, doing. All right. <laughs> Casey received the ultimate birthday surprise. How did it happen, you ask? A guy was attempting to perform magic tricks for Casey through a blue curtain, but oops, the covering mysteriously vanished, revealing the girl's bra for all to see. In a bizarre yet hilarious twist, this unsuspecting woman seemed perfectly composed as the camera zoomed in on her. However, upon closer examination, her not-so-intentional reveal of legs and undergarments, while the camera zoomed out, left everyone in stitches. Lesson learned, always watch out for those zooming lenses. An Italian anchor joyfully delivers the forecast to her audience. However, there's more to this broadcast than meets the eye. Thanks to an unfortunate camera angle, the viewers get an unexpected glimpse of the anchor's undergarments, and it's a moment that won't soon be forgotten. The ever-entertaining Lizzie Cundy left us in stitches once again. As she confidently rose from her seat, a person snatched her chair from behind, and before we knew it, she went from standing tall to taking a sudden and unexpected tumble to the ground. It's got to lift Lizzie up a bit. Bring her up a bit in the hole. Oh! I'm lifting your chair up. I thought you were there! I can't believe you. This guy proudly flaunted his top-notch headphones to a girl. But oh boy, fate had other plans. The girl's nerves got the best of her, and she accidentally dropped the precious headphones, causing an epic mishap. To her utter horror, she couldn't hold it in, and well, let's just say there was a headphone water fusion. Each pair is made by hand by our craft. Get ready to chuckle when Asian men are around because they're always up to something hilarious. A local news segment had three Asian men discussing the latest headlines, when out of the blue, one of them experienced a surprising mishap. His chair gave in, and he hilariously tumbled to the floor. Our stunning anchor was engrossed in a delightful chat with her colleagues while donning an elegant white dress. Little did she know that amidst the conversation, she unintentionally gave the viewers a cheeky peek at her undergarments while adjusting her outfit. Talk about making headlines! The two reporters passionately discussed the latest headlines, when suddenly one burst into laughter, setting off a chain reaction of giggles. No news bulletin was safe from their contagious mirth. <laughs> <laughs> in a bold display of confidence, reporter Wendy Birch was fearlessly holding court in Downton, LA, when suddenly an unexpected twist jolted the scene. Out of thin air, a mischievous black-clad gentleman dramatically crashed the broadcast, sending Wendy's intimidation running for cover. And it's likely one of those international cities might- <laughs> <laughs> scared the shit out of We're working here, man. How are you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Breaking news from Ferguson. This wild video is like a puzzle with pieces that don't belong together. There's a riot going on, but wait, someone strolls by as if they're in a peaceful garden. And then hold on to the next scenes, where it's so bizarre I can't even wrap my head around it. Uh, fighters. Hold on, I, I realize, can, I, I just, just, I realize something's happening in Ferguson, but we're talking about something important here, so can you at least split screen the video? 
A daring reporter attempts to imitate the football sensation Cristiano Ronaldo's native language, only to hilariously falter in pronunciation. The tables turn when Cristiano decides to play teacher, attempting to school the reporter in the art of saying the words correctly. Concentrão, que é esse jogador? Concentrão, Coentrão. Coentrão, aí está. It seems like the drama of chairs collapsing during news channel interviews is struck once more. No surprises there, as these mishaps are practically old news. The, the opportunity for proper engagement is actually after the tabling of the. Spanish words may be trickier than untangling headphones, but could you imagine a news reporter committing that epic oopsie? Oh no, senor. Hold on to your sombreros and check out this hysterical clip, where a hapless reporter stumbles over Spanish Football Cup tournaments. Another title up for grabs, uh, uh, La Liga and uh, the Copa del Rey, uh, uh, Real Madrid, of course, with uh, 10. Uh... A reporter got caught doing her makeup and gazing at her reflection live. Little did she realize the camera was rolling and bam! Her backstage antics were splashed all over the show for viewers to revel in. Good morning, welcome to Anglia News. Live on Fox News once more, our host is engaged in a lively chit chat with her guest. She starts feeling quite uneasy about her outfit, specifically her legs stealing the spotlight. With awkward attempts to change angles and positions, her discomfort becomes crystal clear for all viewers to see. It's a leggy affair on the news today, folks. In a hilarious twist on Traffic Patrol, the hostess unleashed her fury at the team for failing to provide her with the oh-so-comfy heels for the show. Talk about a shoe shocker. If I were in her shoes, pun intended, I'd probably react the same way. Breaking news from Wembley's Premier League matches. Brace yourself for a hilarious twist as our English news reporter goes live. We've got all the action, and yes, even the Englishmen couldn't escape the dreaded chair mishaps. At the uh, Community Shield game, uh, much. A global news reporter found himself taking an unexpected plunge during an interview with some swimmers. Just when he thought he had it all under control, whoosh, he slipped right into the pool out of nowhere. Sarah Vasey, Adam Peaty, Sean Marie O'Connor, Ben Proud, and James Guy. Congratulations. Oh, I didn't see the step. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that's giving you all a good night. <laughs> In a hilarious on air blunder, a traffic reporter from Channel 12 News was caught dozing off mid telecast. As the cameras rolled, she was startled awake by her quick thinking colleague. Who knew traffic updates could be nap worthy? Yo, Wake Jenny. Up, Jenny. Wake up, girl. You're acting like you were on the 11 o'clock news last night or something. What? Hey, it's time for traffic. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you work late, Jenny, right? I didn't even set the maps. Everything, I was on the 11 o'clock news. I did the sports. I'm really tired, but I did. During a lively powwow, a squad of fabulous hostesses found themselves in stitches when one of them whipped out an XXXL bra, gifted by the crew before the show. Cue wardrobe malfunctions galore. Laughter filled the room as they attempted to figure out just who this colossal contraption was meant for. How'd it go? Well, I, I was also wearing, were you wearing the wrong size? Oh yeah. That was, happens to a lot of this women This is the now. size I was wearing. <laughs> right, right. I don't know. If I don't know how you made that mistake, really. <laughs> well, I really, it was just poor judgment, really. I mean, I guess, I, I don't know. But it turns out I'm a guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As the reporter delved into the private lives of barnyard residents, a rooster decided he had had enough of the invasion of his barn's privacy. With timing, he perched right on her leg. It seems this daring cock had a bone to pick with the nosy reporter. You can still see the tire tracks here where the cattle rustler pulled up to this entrance. <laughs> Our beloved reporter had a nosy situation on live TV. An acquaintance just couldn't resist poking and prodding, turning our reporter's face into a playground. It was hilarious, folks, but hey, no hard feelings. We all love a good laugh, even on the airwaves. As the broadcast wraps up, watch how this fearless reporter right here unintentionally treated the viewers to an impromptu swearing session and a graceful chair dismount combo. Let this be a valuable lesson, kiddos. Never ever swear, especially not on live TV. See you again tomorrow at 9. Fucking perfect. Oh. No, we're a woman. You don't need to help me up, woman. You've done enough damage. You've done enough damage. Yeah. 
Ah the Rainy Season, a playground for mishaps. Our dear sister hostess embarked on a thrilling weather expedition with her viewers. Little did she know a speeding car had other plans. Whoosh! A tidal wave of water enveloped her, turning her wardrobe into a wet and wild malfunction. You want to be careful driving through that much water. And you know what? You got to thank Dan Elliott for you being there. He's the one that noticed that this morning. So if you get nailed and come back all wet. Exactly. It seems mirrors have declared themselves as the latest breaking news. Who can blame her, though? Beware of the tipsy and the houseless, even on your film set. Our reporter hilariously learned this lesson. What started as a solemn journalistic scene quickly morphed into an unexpected comedy. You can receive some employment assistance where they'll be getting some resume and application help. The production plant will be shut down in face. That's all for today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up because your support is very good for us. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel.